Hello, and thank you once again for um, watching my channel, Miguel Cabal 139. And if you're a beginner, or if you just got your Phantom 3, this video is for you. Let's say that you are on the field and you already prepared your remote control and now you're about to prepare your Phantom and you don't have a clue how to remove the camera clamp. If that's the case, this video is for you. So stay tuned. <music> Okay, basically this is the clamp that comes attached uh, with the package when you first buy the Phantom. Let me turn it around a little bit. Okay, you can see um, this zip ties. You don't have to do those. This is something that I decided to do in case I have a hard landing or let's say I hit a three or something like that and uh, pins break at least I have a second level of protection so the camera is not going to be hanging in a case of crashing okay so you don't have to do this this basically doesn't add any weight to it um, it's loose it's not tight at all you still had that movement okay so going back to the clamp the way I like to Take it off is I hold one of these corners of the bottom section of the gimbal. I hold the clamp right here on this section where it said um, unlock. You press right here and you slide sideways towards the side of the Phantom. Okay, and that's very, very easy. You don't have to force it. Just very gently okay make sure that you press right here on this session right here make sure that you press right here in this session where it said unlock and the opposite side make sure that you press that area just to keep a good grip right here press here right here just to keep a good grip okay to install it what I like to do, this is my style. I mean, this is what I came up with. Uh, maybe you find a better way to do it. If that's the case, please send that uh, information in the comment section below. But this is what I used to do. Put it sideways. And then, let me move the camera a little bit. Then I come from this end, I align the camera and you can see I align the camera I I prepared this clamp with the open side facing my body okay and this side towards the back of the phantom so basically this is the front of the phantom facing the front as you can see the stickers are right here so I align the camera I align this okay and now I'm gonna show you exactly where it has to go okay let's see if I can align the camera okay so this is the side view okay this is the camera right there this is the clamp for this camera you see this little pin is a long pin okay you slide this in this opening section right here the back of the camera goes in that section okay you slide it in and i'm doing this while it's uh, standing on the leg but usually i do it with the phantom sideways okay i just I'm just doing it this way so you will be able to see exactly where this section right here let me show you have to slide right in there in this little slot right there okay so let me see if I can get some light in there okay I don't know if you can see it but 
Okay, I just turn on the light so I can show you the slot where it has to go. It's the phantom is sideways. So let me show you really quick. The front is right here. This is the front area. And of course, this section right here is the back, okay? So this is the slot where you have to slide this little section of the clamp. This clamp is look like a C this way when you put it sideways, okay? It look like a C if you and then this little pin right here, this is what need to go in there, okay? In this section right here. So as I said earlier, I like to put it sideways, but for this demonstration, I'm just keeping the phantom standing on its legs. You align the two together. I like to put one hand at the opposite side to avoid any force from ripping this bushings and then you just slide it in and that's how you install your clam okay as you can see it's already installed it okay let me show you from the opposite side okay i'm going to show you how i set um i'm going to show you how i do it okay as you can see the phantom is laying on the side um, as you can see this is the front here's the camera here's the clamp okay and once again this part of the pin right here is what we need to install in this group right here or slot okay right there so it's on the side I hold the camera I align this little pin up here with this slot right there i like to hold the opposite side and hold the opposite side and slide it in that's how you do it why on the side i noticed that i was able to see exactly if these two were aligned align uh, together okay to make sure that this little pin will slide in in that group that group is on the bottom section of this uh, base right here that is actually holding the camera to take it off just hold this corner the opposite corner grab this section right here make a little pressure on it and slide out what I've been doing this is what I've been using lately very easy to put in and take off um, it's only like seven dollars in Amazon I will be putting the link at the bottom section of the um, information of this video um, in case you would like to buy that one from Amazon and this one is very easy you just put this section of the camera right there and there are some few groups right there you align those with one of this pin right here and make sure that the camera is aligned and you just slide it in and that's what i've been doing so far i just want to show you that i bought this other one this one was like three dollars really cheap three or four dollars in Amazon and um, at the same time I was trying to use it with this clam but the problem was that when you try to slide this one in the clam was in the way so if you use this you won't be able to use the clam and then the camera will be all over the place and you don't want that so that's the reason why I decided to go with this other one okay um, it was um, cost effective and it's actually serving the purpose and of course it was less cumbersome to install and to take out okay make sure that you like my videos submit your comments subscribe to our channel let us know if this was helpful to you and as usual have fun learn don't get in trouble use your toolbox bye